right, welcome to Daddy Jack's Cool with the Blues here. Post Memorial Day. And what we got left? We got everything left. Corn on the cob. First of the year. So we're gonna, what are we going to make? We're going to make some corn, some uh, some good old corn chowder. Uh, take a little bacon grease. Pretty lean bacon. Put a good, uh, get that browned up a little bit. Got some nice chicken stock heating up back here. Uh, so, I just want to show you how we cut the celery. So you got, see so you got a lot of celery to cut and to dice up. Go right down the strips. See? You would cut them in half. One of the one of the parts of the Trinity, onions and bell peppers. We got red bell peppers. So I peeled these onions. Then I cut it down. Don't go all the way through. What's up, Ronnie? Alright, so we got some uh got some potatoes. A dice, I like a smaller dice. I used to dice my potatoes bigger. And my buddy George O'Grafis, he said, I like a smaller dice, you know? You know what I agree with him. Chowder, sometimes you get those potatoes, take up take up the whole cup of soup, a couple couple chunks. These are my favorites, Yukon Gold. This is real easy, just, you know, get your vegetables prepped, this soup, but throw it together in minutes. And then once, once those uh, potatoes are cooked, okay, we're gonna cut off a little bit of the, uh, the corn. is I think uh, from, somebody said it was even further north in Florida. So, uh, man, to get some hot weather down there. We, we maintain our coolness up here so far. Okay. And, uh, almost there. Show you this now. Uh, it's called milking, milking the cob. You get a lot of look at that difference. That's all flavor right there. And now we're gonna save our cobs. We're gonna put them in the soup. crazy what we do for flavor but trust me you know it's worth it see those are all bits of flavor uh. almost there So what I do is I put a little bit of uh, potato in there now with uh, my onions and uh, 
I'm going to cook that down. Another friend of mine told me his father was Mark Greenfield. He gave me the he gave me the uh, lobster Newburg recipe, and uh, he said that's his father's secret was add some of the potatoes exact quarter inch dice. He'd add those in first, and that was like his thickening potato. And the second batch was for texture. Sometimes those early, that early batch will, like mashed potato, dissolve, dissolve into it, into the soup. But I'm gonna use very little. You I mean you can, you can even go without flour if you want. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Just kind of absorb the uh, bacon grease. If I wasn't gonna, if I wasn't gonna add flour, I wouldn't have uh, used so much bacon grease. But that'll that'll absorb the grease, so you don't have a a greasy soup. bells. That gives a nice flair. Sometimes I like to put a sweet potato in there also. I didn't feel like going to the grocery store today. I already went to restaurant depot. So uh, add a little bit of add a little bit of seasoning all, always as you're going as you know each kind of step. But just be careful you don't over season. Use that as a final you know to uh, adjust. A little bit of a uh, little bit of flour, like I said, just to absorb. Not so much as a thickener, but to absorb the bacon grease. See that? Nice. Maybe just a touch. So this whole pot of soup just gonna be like. Probably four tablespoons of flour. Let's cook, cook the rawness out of the flour just a little bit. And we'll add our chicken stock. Add a little bit to start, work out the lumps. Watch your bottom at this point. Make sure the uh, you know because you turn it down a little bit. You don't want to scorch the bottom at this stage. the rest of these potatoes. See we got enough. Alright, what I'm gonna do is uh a little bit of hot water into it. Water just to thin it up. That's kind of consistency you want, but we want to cook it down just a little bit. So what we do is put our cobs in. My buddy Victor. He ran to Daddy Jack's down in uh, Deep Ellum, Texas. He's got Victor's Wood Grill now up in uh, Capel. 
We used to dry these out on the back of the stove, the cobs, and smoke, smoke salmon with it. Put a perforated pen, put the cobs underneath with a perforated pan on top, the salmon on top. Pretty ingenious. So, uh, I'll put a little bit of tarragon in. A little bit of tarragon. Just a pinch, pinch of red pepper. that right on the back burner. Like I said, when the potatoes are done, that soup is ready. And always it's better the second day when you cure the pot. Let, let the, all the flavors are released, then it comes all back together when it gets cold, and then it releases all the flavor uh, all married together. So we'll be right back. We're back, back, back at the ranch with the soup. Let's try the, uh, I'd say we're about three quarters of the way there with the potatoes. So now what I'll do is I'm going to add in this corn. We don't want to overcook it if we can help it. And just, uh, That sweetness is going to give us so much flavor. And then what we'll do is we'll leave those cobs in there overnight. And you know, again, you know that it'll release. It'll suck up a bunch of the flavor and then release it. Those cobs take a good hour or so, you know, when, when you let it sit. Put a little bit more water. What you said, especially when it's cooling down, it's still cooking. And uh, I'll tell you what, they give us so much flavor. All right. I'll let that just slow and turn the fire down low. I'll give it about another 10 or 15 minutes to cut it off. And then we'll come back and we'll show you a little presentation. You know, with you know, with flour, without flour, if you're gluten intolerant. Uh, you want to use vegetable stock instead of chicken stock for vegan. Uh, don't want to add the bacon. Don't use bacon. Just a, but a, even even just as a natural, just a straight vegetable stock corn chowder, it's still great. We'll be right back. Chowder is red eye gravy, as they say. So, but you know what? I like. I like my chowder with a little cream in it, so we're just going to, uh, this is, this is going to be tomorrow night's soup recipe anyway, and uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, cream in it. Mm -hmm. Let's 
you think that green onion adds a lot to it, Glenn? I think so. Huh? I think so. Sets the whole thing right off. Smoky flavor in the bacon. The nice uh, flavor of the corn, the sweetness of the corn. I think we hit another one, Glenn. Hit another one out of the park. It's Daddy Jack's go with the blues. New England corn chowder. Okay, you want to put a little sweet potato in it. You put chicken corn chowder. Whatever floats your boat. And it's a beautiful downtown in London. Come visit us. Deep water port. We're the deepest on the East Coast. Submarines come in. Deep uh, cargo ships come in and unload at the pier. We're going to be building a staging ground for offshore windmill. Windmill farm offshore. Amtrak. Ferry boats. I-95 coming, run, coming right through. But I'll tell you what, going to be major construction on that bridge this summer. The Gold Star Bridge. So, but come and visit, beautiful place to visit. Uh, Mystic Seaport, all the islands. Day Jags, cool with the blues. Glenn Peltier on camera, couldn't do without you. Peace.